Hi, as you all know, this weekend marks the second time we have an outdoor hobby flea market at the Hobby Center. That would be Sunday, May the 15th. The public time is from 9 to 1 p.m. Setup is from 7 to 9 in the morning. We have approximately 30, 31 parking spots here. Now, if you haven't been here before, there's a little confusion there. We are not renting tables. We are not supplying tables or any other fixtures. You get a parking spot. You put your car in, you can sell out of your car, out of your trunk, out of your van, out of your pickup truck, or you can set up tables. Now, nobody is going to be allowed into this part of the parking lot after you're set up. So all cars will have to remain out in the common parking areas, and this area will be restricted to only the vendors and people coming in to shop the tables. Okay, so you actually have quite a space that you can come out of your parking spot. So say your car is parked there, you could conceivably set up tables out to at least here, if you wish. So you bring as many tables as you need, bring a sun canopy if you think you need it for the hot day, or if the weather goes south. And as I say, we have roughly 30, 31 spots out here. Now parking was a bit of an issue last time, but we solved that by having people park over in the Good Life parking lot. They have a huge parking lot next door. And as you can see over there, there's a cut through right beside the fence. So in some cases, you're closer to the action parking there than you would be parking way out there or out on the street. And Okay, so again, like last time, we'll have tables set up here that you can display your models on. Now, the idea behind that was this kind of took place of our model contest, which we didn't have for two years during COVID. So it was a chance for people to display their models so people could look at them, uh, discuss and talk about them. That was kind of fun. Uh, it was a little bit hampered by wind, so we're hoping that the wind isn't going to be a factor this time. But if you bring models, be prepared to keep your eye on them for that reason. Also, uh, if we have inclement weather, like this is a beautiful week beforehand, they are talking about a probability of rain on Sunday. If it does rain on Sunday, um, we will be having it on May the 29th as our rain day. We will not be having it during the long weekend. Um, basically, it's a game time decision. You get up Sunday morning, you look at the weather and you make a decision to commit or not. We will be here regardless, because we have to be, just in case it comes off, or if it rains and then stops. Like it's kind of one of those deals, right? So we'll do our best to make it happen. It should be exciting and fun. If there's any other questions, please give us a call, 613-288-1299, or email me, hopsen, H-O-B-C-E-N, at rogers.com. We also had a little bit of problem. People were booking tables, or I shouldn't say tables, I call them tables, but really they're spaces. There's no tables involved unless you bring them, okay? So let's be clear, the spaces. People wanted spaces, they asked for them on social media. Facebook did not give us notification of your request. They didn't say that, you know, so-and-so, uh, put a comment in your in your post. So we did not receive those. So many people did not get confirmation that we received their request. If you did not receive a confirmation, you probably don't have a space. Please get a hold of us to confirm or deny because we're very really sorry about that. There was nothing that could be helped. All the ones we got, we replied to. So if you had replied, you wanted a space, and we said, yes, we got your request, you have a space, you're good. But in many cases, we didn't get any notice at all until like we're like a few days before and people are all of a sudden following up. You need to follow up sooner. You need to get the confirmations, okay? So get a hold of us again to find out for sure if you're in or not. I think that basically has it. We've talked about parking. We've talked about what you get when you come. The hobby center will be set up here like we were last time, our sidewalk sale. And we're pleased to announce that JT's military surplus is gonna participate. He's gonna have some stuff out on the flea market. We've let all our neighbors know, hopefully they might participate as well. We have an awesome new uh, confectionery store called Amin's. They just opened. They have awesome baklava and all kinds of Middle East treats, chocolates, nuts, and coffee. So you might want to check them out when you're here too. So we really look forward to this. It was a huge success last time. You probably heard about it through word of mouth. That's why we're trying to bring clarification to it. So we hope to see as many of you as we can this Sunday. Cross your fingers for good weather. Thanks for watching. Thank you.